we told the story here uh, on Galway BFM and on this program about the Ballyglunan railway station and the restoration project and the fact how they have been let down uh, by certain aspects and certain organs of the state who have failed to fund that iconic building. I got an email at 11.04pm from Michael Finn, who's the chairman of the Restoration Committee. It goes as follows, Keith, we just heard that the Board of GRD has adopted the recommendation of the Review Board. As we understand it, the Review Board has recommended that the Ballyglunan application should go to the Evaluation Committee as soon as possible and to the Board for full approval. GRD will then be writing to the Department requesting additional funding to cover the full 200,000, the costs involved. And um, it is important indeed that this happens very, very soon. I'm joined by Maria Heenan, who's the PRO indeed for the Ballyglunan Restoration uh, Committee. Maria, this has been a fairly long, long drawn out battle, uh, but you must welcome indeed news that it's in for consideration. Yes, Keith, we're absolutely delighted, you know, that the findings were presented to the board last night and we understand that uh, the findings were very positive and in our favour. So we are looking forward to, uh, you know, that going straight now to the evaluation committee as soon as possible and uh, from there to the board for approval and uh, finally to the department so that we can get our, our 200,000. So we're, we're quite happy and very positive about the... Well, we were quite happy and very positive about the findings of the review committee, which were in our favour, and uh, we're now delighted. And we think, you know, that it was, a, you know, a positive move by GRD to actually put this review committee in place to uh, look at our application, review it, and, uh, you know, um, um, find in our favour. Now, so, I mean, I, I'm, I'm led to believe the, ti- the timeline is fairly tight on this. It is. It is very tight, yeah. I mean, it you're looking at Wednesday week or something, it has to all yeah. be d- done and dusted by. Yeah. Well, well, you see, there shouldn't be um, anything to be done with it, really, because we have sent on all the material already. It's with them, and the review committee found in our favour. So as a result, you know, except, I'm sure, for some minor details, our application. Our paperwork has been, you know, pretty on the ball all the time. So, um you know, we expect it's only just minor details. So obviously, Maria, relationships with the GRD, that has improved then? Oh yeah, of course, sure. We, we are not actually, uh, will I say, out to get anybody. We are just out to get our money because, as you know, we're a very enthusiastic, and our chairman, Michal Finn, is very enthusiastic about Ballyglunan. We know it's a flagship project. We know it has huge potential. We know we have a huge asset in the area in having the station master's house, the store and the whole site and CIE have been very good to us in leasing that building to us and in fact we have at least for the last 10 years and we're also very positive about GRD and the RSS, uh, the Rural Social Scheme that has been there and keeping it in such good condition for the last 9 years but this is really the icing on the cake now to really get our grant so we're delighted. So there'll be a little bit of a celebration um, on the 21st if this of is all course. successful but I mean of course. It, yeah. it still hangs in the offing and it's all down to the department as to whether the department can find this extra funding, this 200,000. Well, you see, uh, after all, there are a number of leader companies around the country and we're not, like, it would be a very perfect world if they had spent all their money and none of it had gone back to the departments. But we are aware uh, from other communi- other leader groups, uh, we are in contact that, um, you know, m- money has gone back. So there's, and Keith, you know, from, as I say, from my years in the public service, I never knew of a minister that gave away all his money the first day. Mm. So you or mean, even halfway through. You mean there's a, little, there's, there's a little pot somewhere. there then, yeah? I'd say so, yeah. Okay. I, well, we're very, not say so, we're very positive that there is. Because, you see, there's, so, there's uh, leader companies all over the country, so therefore money will have gone back. And we know that money has gone back from Athen Rye already. So Why would we, it go back, can I ask you, do you know? Well, you see, if, if, if somebody doesn't take up the project, that they've, if they've applied for funding, uh, they don't take it up, uh, it actually comes back to GRD to go back to the department. That's the sad thing about it, it leaves Galway. Really? Yeah, that's the way the system works. Okay. So, um, as a result, you know, I'm sure GRD any more than us don't like to see money go back. And, and they can't actually, you know, they can't do anything about it if somebody decides that they're not going to take up the money, that they don't see their way in having the project completed or something else like that before the end of the time. But um, we certainly have all the guarantees from our engineers that we will have the project completed on time 
if we're given the money now, which we, we're positive about now. We're very positive and, what's, and we're what's delighted. The, what's the timeline, by the way, for having it finished? I know it's very tight, doesn't it? It is. It's something like September, I think. Yeah. Can you do it that quickly? Oh, we are. We're guaranteed we can. You see, it's a pretty straightforward job because uh, the stonework and all of that is quite good. Except right. for small areas, it's pretty straightforward after that. You know, so we're guaranteed and our, uh, we even double checked with our engineer and he said that won't be a problem. Okay, so if you got the fund, you got the yeah. funding, you have all that you need, you have the, the manpower ready, ready to go. We're ready to go tomorrow. It's a pity that the, this delay has taken place, but I suppose that's it. But hang on, you're, you're not, Maria, you're not over the line yet, you know. I know, I know, I know. You know let's let, let's not be celebrating just yet. We're, we're very positive and hopefully we'll be back to you with excellent news next week after the Evaluation Committee and the Board meeting. Of course it has to go through those bodies, but you see, if the, revo- rev- the Review Committee's proposals or findings were in our favour, well, uh, you know, I, I doubt now that they will turn down the uh, results of their own review committee that they put in place. It well, would be kind of well, ironic if they did. But do you know what? All you can do is pray for a miracle at this stage. Oh, yeah. We, we yeah, are, well, we, no, I mean, you've, you've, you've come a long way in 24 hours, so you have. So, oh, we're well, delighted, yeah. Well done to the yeah. Board of GRD and indeed the Evaluation Committee. So, the Bally Glue... Let's, yeah? let's say we're delighted, but we'll celebrate next week. That's Okay. Well, Michael might celebrate tonight, or Michal. You call him Michal, I call him Michael. Michal Finn, we call him. We call him Michael here, so we do. (laughs) Michael rowed the boat ashore. Um, (laughs) So So he's delighted. He's very good. He's an excellent chairman. He really, when when Michal gets his teeth into something, he pursues it to the end. Hmm. And he's excellent, yeah. He might just go to the Abbey Inn tonight. It's Friday night. You'd never know. He just might go down there. He might just, he might nurse one pint of Guinness, look at it for the whole night, so he might. (laughs) All right, yeah, listen, he's thanks a indeed. great volunteer. He's a oh, yes. wonderful volunteer. He really is, yeah. Powerful guy. Yeah. All right, yeah, thanks indeed for joining us uh, today. Indeed. That's Maria Heenan joining us on the line there, and uh, she's PRO for the uh, Ballyglunan Railway Restoration Project, which seems to be, pardon the pun, back on track.